Aloha. So for week nine, we are going to embark on our case study number six app, which is going to be the Wonder List app. Let's go ahead and open it up. So as you can see, if this is your first time using the Wonder List app, you're going to have to sign up or create an account. Right now is a good time to pause the video and go ahead and do that. All right, once you have signed up for your account, there's a bit of an onboarding process. So here we go, here's our first screen. Choose your list. What would you like to use Wonderlist for? So let's go ahead and get started. We can add a to-do to the grocery list. So let's go ahead and add in, buy some strawberries strawberries there we go and let's see if we can go ahead and add that with the top right hand button there okay so buy strawberries what else do we need um, at the grocery store let's go ahead and buy actually we don't have to say buy we could say blueberries blueberries and we can go ahead and add that Okay, great. So it looks like we can add things to our grocery list. Let's see if we can actually add another list. So let's go ahead and push the back button here, which is the top left-hand corner. And we can actually create a list. And you got it, we're gonna create a CM160 list. So CM160. It looks like you can also go ahead and add people to this list right here. Um, and if you want to add them, you can add them by your contacts or you can add them by an email address. So for right now, let's just go ahead and say don't allow. And if you want to have Wonderlist send you notifications, you can go ahead and do that right now. But we're going to say don't allow. And let's go back. So we were working on creating our CM160. And let's go ahead and create that list. So for week nine, um, we're going to add a few things to our to-do list. We're going to um, watch intro, intro demo to wonder list. App. So we're going to add that. And we're also going to go ahead and we have assignment number nine is assigned this week too. So let's go ahead and add that in. All right, so pretty, pretty intuitive here. Um, let's see what happens if we press, so we're going down to the tab bar navigation and we can share, which we already know how to do that. We can sort, so let's see what the sort allows us to do, which is that middle tab. We can sort alphabetically, we can sort by due date. Let's see what happens if we press more. So we can edit the list, we can email the list, we can print the list, which is really useful. All right, one thing we want to figure out how to do is whether or not we can add a due date or a reminder for ourselves for our to-do items in our CM160 list. So let's go ahead and click on assignment number nine and let's see if we can add a due date. So click due date. Just to let you guys know that assignment is due on October 20th. And let's see if we can do that. So do October 20th. It's going to send me a reminder at 9 a.m. on October 20th. You can add a subtask to that. You can add yourself a note. Maybe perhaps when you want to do the assignment. Any questions you might have for me, you can leave in the note section. You can add a file or you can add a comment. So let's go back. It looks like you can also star an item. So let's see if we can star that item. And when we star that item, it actually goes to the top. 
So I'm really curious about this edit button on the top right hand corner. Let's go ahead and click that. Okay, so notice that the tab bar has changed on the bottom and we're able to now make a selection here. So let's go ahead and check off here in the little circle next to the first the first to do item and let's go ahead and hit complete and we notice that now our completed item shows up in a completed to do's list right beneath. So now that we're done we only have assignment number nine to complete. One cool feature that this also has too is so you can show completed to do's or you can hide them. Sometimes it might feel good to see how many to-dos that you've accomplished um, in a day. So that's Wonderlist for us. If you have any other questions or comments about how to use this application, please let me know. Um, otherwise, I hope you have fun with assignment number nine, where you will compare and contrast the Wonderlist app versus the Todoist app. Aloha and have a great week.